Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the very resilient Bangor High School class of 2020. Thank you. From wherever you may be watching or tuning in, please enjoy the singing of our national anthem by our senior vocal medalist, Emma Patterson Dennis. Hello everyone, and welcome to Bangor High School's 2020 Commencement Ceremony. It's an honor to address the graduating class, just as, as it had been an honor to serve as your class president. However, before I begin, I would like to express our gratitude to our administrators, superintendent, school board members, and above all, our teachers. Thank you for your patience, your guidance, your knowledge, and your support throughout our years in the Bangor School. Four years ago, I sat in the Alphonse Arena at UMaine and watched my brother graduate. Even then, I was already thinking about this day, about how it would feel to walk across the stage and receive my diploma. Suffice to say, this was not what I had in mind. My parents have joked that they still have yet to attend a normal Bangor High School graduation. My brother's class graduated in Orono, and we are graduating outside. It's a good thing I don't have any more siblings, because who knows where they might end up graduating. Jokes aside, these disruptions of the normal ceremonies shine a light on the fact that we are living in a time of uncertainty. Uncertainty about where we'll be in 10 years. Uncertainty about what we're supposed to do when we meet new people, now that handshakes are out. Uncertainty about what our futures hold, put it simply. And yet, in the midst of all the chaos and confusion of the present, we sit here today, having accomplished something monumental together, with the shared understanding that with so much in the world that is uncertain, it is all the more important celebrate that is certain. I am incredibly grateful to be sharing this milestone with all of you. Whether you've been in the Bangor school system since kindergarten or came to BHS last year, we're all ending our 12 years of primary education as RAM, and I'm proud to be a member of the class of 20. From the onset, I've been inspired by the passion, talent, creativity, kindness, and authenticity that is abundant in this class. For that, I thank you. This has been a wonderful group to grow up alongside. Say that this has been the typical senior experience would be far from the truth. Uh, I'm sorry that our time together as a class was cut short, that when we all left the high school for the last time, none of us knew it yet. It's not the ending that any of us imagined, but it does feel strangely appropriate. We started our year with the senior day of homecoming being postponed due to a windstorm, and we ended the year with almost everything else being canceled due to a global pandemic. If that's not a full circle ending, I don't know what. But before we all walk across the stage, receive our diploma, and drive off into the world, there's one more thing I'd like all of us to do. Take a minute, 
and think about all of the people from the friends you talk to every day, the teachers who encouraged you to be your best, peers that you might not have known all that well, smile or nod at in the hall. This is the last time that all of us are going to be in place, same time, working towards a common. Some of us will be staying local, and some of us will be moving across the country. Our paths are dividing, and directionally. But before we leave, I just wanted everyone to reflect on the time we spent together. Not only the good, but also the bad and even the ugly. And remember these experiences as we step out into the next stages of our lives. Remember what we learned here, inside the classroom and out of it. Successes and the failures we experienced. Remember the community that we have all been a part of. Don't throw that all away after today. Use it, all of it, help build whatever future you're off to pursue. You're graduating in a century that is still in its infancy. The future may not appear crystal clear to you. I know it doesn't to me. And while that may be terrifying, it's also incredibly inspiring. There's no shortage of work that needs to be done. From fighting for social justice, to addressing the failing climate, to eradicating the virus that is sweeping across the world, there is no arguing that we have a lot to shoulder and that much of the work in creating change will be up to our generation. However, there is not a doubt in my mind that together we are up for the challenges that lie in store for us, both those that we can see right now and the ones that are currently hidden from sight. Over the past four months, we have proven to our friends, family, and community that ad adaptation in the face of disruption is something that we can handle and even excel in. After today, we have the opportunity to, opportunity to prove that to the world at large. I can't wait to ride the waves of change that we will make together. Thank you for the past 12 years. Here's to whatever comes next. Congratulations to the Bangor High class of 2020. You did it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ijoma Obi, <clears throat> and I'm a member of the graduating class of 2020. This year, I was the president of NHS, captain of the debate team, along with two other members, and fulfilled many responsibilities around the school and within our community. I'm glad we can all be together despite these tough times. We all hate coronavirus. Like the stranger that doesn't give you enough space in the grocery store, coronavirus truly has no boundaries. We've confined ourselves in our houses, our homes, our closets, hiding in fear. We've distanced ourselves from our teachers, our friends, our family, hoping for the best. We've studied from home, from our phones, our tablets, our computers, trying to pass. Here we are in 2020, suffering from the influenza of our time, working our way up to becoming functional adults. This year has slammed the door in our face, but how we handle the situation will determine if we can enter into next year. We've taken the supreme task of being kind to each other, being able to change to the new normal in the snap of a finger. We've evolved. We're not the kids we were freshman year, and our resilience in these times makes that a fact. My fellow graduates, the road we're on is bumpier than a main highway. From here on out, things will be difficult, and there are astronomical challenges that will question not only who we are, but our existence, our right to live. Our house is under siege. Climate change, social injustice, and energy crisis, we have a lot of homework on our desk. These challenges have no easy solutions. Unfortunately, we can't Google the answers. However, we must rally ourselves to find solutions and innovations to deal with these problems as soon as possible. We are a generation of thinkers, of musicians, of artists, of athletes, of debaters, of communicators, of organizers, of leaders, of people who are willing to go past the six hour mark. 
Excellence is our specialty and academics is our middle name. We are a generation of brave individuals who will take the world on headstrong. Time waits for no one, and we cannot be the generation left behind in the sands of history. Rather, we must be the generation to stand triumphant against all odds. Unlike Rocky, we will win the fight, and it won't be on a technicality. Now, the question remains, what are we going to do and how are we going to do it? We're going to take the world by storm and make our impact on it. Some of us will go to college to pursue our desired major and enter the workforce. Some of us will go to a trade school to choose our trade and enter the workforce. Some of us will go straight into the workforce and some of us will go into the military. No matter what we choose, the class of 2020 will make a difference. If we're proactive citizens who care about not just our lives, but the lives of our friends and neighbors, we can put our years of education and skill to use and help those who need it the most. The poor, the hungry, the sick, the scared, the desperate, we can be there for them. We have a calling, not just to support our friends, but to support our fellow man. We have a calling to support those who have supported us. But most importantly, we have a calling to support the world because in the end, we're all in this together. Friends, as you receive your diplomas today, remember the years that have geared up to this very moment. Remember the promise you're making to your teachers and friends that you will take that diploma and make your years of knowledge and put it to use. But never forget, no matter where we go, the class of 2020 is a class called to action, a generation called to serve, and people ready for any challenge. To the class of 2020, it has been an honor and a pleasure to address you today. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for these remarkable four years, and no matter the road you take, I'm sure you'll excel far beyond others. Thank you, and stay safe. So welcome again, everybody, to uh, Bangor High School campus. Those of you joining us here on campus or tuning in on our friends and neighbors on Broadway, AM620, and their generous hosting of the audio of today, or a live stream on our YouTube channel, which is new ground for us. And we've covered a lot of ground. I'd welcome everybody to a unique but nonetheless special closure to a remarkably difficult year, but for a remarkably a graduation class, a graduating class that is remarkably strong, resilient. I always have my work cut out for me when I follow our graduation speakers. Students today uh, did it again. They, this will explain to you why my remarks at graduation are typically brief. Cut them short, Claire and Ajoma, you made that difficult for me because of the mature and profound perspective that you offered today. I believe that challenges of the world that you referenced in different ways, from overcoming a pandemic to eliminating the scourge, racism and racist violence, whatever those challenges might be, they're surmountable because of your passion and your talents. I believe that you, like me, and your teachers are saddened that your Mark, Mark Jarvis, your classmate's not with us today, and I promise that he's with you in other ways, and I'd invite you to reflect on the ways in which Mark's positive light might be with you today. I believe that it's a difficult time like this away from school that will give us not only new appreciation for the process of education, but also new talents, bring new abilities, and new ways to connect meaningfully as students, teachers, and partners in learning or growth wherever they're gonna take. For my part, this time away, I took time to notice some special things I hadn't noticed because the spring in a high school is a busy place and there's a lot of things swirling around my head. But I noticed a lot of things around me that I hadn't taken notice of before. This is kind of a funny one, but I noticed a cute little coffee shop down on the corner of Broadway in Stillwater, and I thought about the people in that coffee shop that are trying to keep things going, and I, I promised myself that I'd go back there and I'd visit it, and I'd support and get the struggle through. Something that's been, I've driven by 
for 30 years in my life and never really noticed it from that point of view. I promised myself quietly, I'd visit there frequently, frequently, but then I found myself more so thinking of you individually and in aggregate and how you all made it, quote, through this struggle in your own ways and with the strength and commitment of teachers who are learning along with you and carrying furiously every step of the way. From there, I promised that that the school would do everything it could to make today special and everything, everything we could to reflect on how our school can learn and grow from this experience to be of all times of the best service to you, the students, or the ones that I call the most important in the people business of education. I wish you sincere congratulations. And at this point, we'll transition into the announcing of scholarships and awards that are especially reserved for the graduation ceremony. And all the materials that you typically would receive on stage, walk away with your COVID friendly way by mail or otherwise down the road. But I'd like to open with a little bit of a tradition. I'd like to recognize maybe with a, tor a horn toot from the vehicles carrying a graduate who's committed to serving our country in some fashion in the armed forces. If I get a, a horn toot on the horizon and then some follow up, horn blasts in recognition of those students who have chosen a pathway of service to our country as they exit Bangor. All right. <laughs> Awards and scholarships to the class of 2020. I'll read the scholarship, the nature of the scholarship, the recipient, beginning with the Dante Izzo Memorial Scholarship. It's awarded to a student in memory of Dante Izzo, who sadly died of suicide, but whose spirit of kindness and friendship lives on with a 500 scholarship in his memory given to a student committed to similar kindness and similar friendship. The recipient, Joshua Watson. The Thomas Singh Memorial Scholarship, $200 awarded to a female graduate to support the pursuit of education at the post-secondary level. The recipient, Rebecca Chappelle. A Singh Scholarship to a male student with those qualities. The recipient, Jacob Monroe. The All Souls Congregational Church Scholarship, $500 awarded to a student who has demonstrated the moral character. And Virtues such as justice, kindness, cheerfulness, persistence, and compassion. Recipient, Morgan Carter Moulton. The J. Alfred Crom Cromwell Scholarship, $500 awarded to a student dem demonstrating commitment and excellence in high school study with the promise of continued success. The recipient, Joshua Benasuti. The David M. Bauer Memorial Scholarship, goes $1,000 to a student attending a private college. And with the promise of academic excellence, the recipient, Melissa Tian. The Frederick Hannon Memorial Scholarship, $500 awarded to a respected member of the class to pursue post-secondary study. The recipient, William Lehan. The Lieberman Scholarship to a senior for academic ability, strong character and leadership, and a desire to continue learning. $500 award to Mackenzie Harvey. The Anastasia Praderis Class of 1944 Scholarship, $500 to a senior committed to post-secondary studies for two or four year programs. Recipient, Mackenzie Harvey. The Melmac Award, 200, two, I'm sorry, that would be a very generous $1,000 over four years, awarded to students making a difference in the lives of others with citizenship and with a greater potential and interest in making a difference in the world, $2,000 to Abby Cataret. The Mary J. Novak Scholarship, student for achievement in the humanities, and with the intent on continuing study in the humanities, $1,000 to Georgia Jones. 
The David Bauer Memorial, $1,000 to a student planning to pursue study at a private college for an undergraduate degree. Recipient, Melissa Tian. The Arthur Maria Brontis Scholarships, two awards, $1,000 each to a male and female student who are attending, who are intending to attend the University of Maine with the encouragement to consider degrees in business. The recipients, Madison Arno and Amelia Slocum. The Robert James Taylor Scholarship, $1,000 to a student attending the University of Maine with evidence that the award will meaningfully assist the pursuit of a degree. The recipient, Cassandra Lacasse. The Lillian B. Constantine Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a senior attending on pursuing a degree in nursing. The recipient, Kelly Pellegrino. The Economo Foreign Language Scholarships, two awards, $1,000 each. The student continuing their study to post-secondary level in the languages. The recipients, Connor Ashfield and Eliza Jensowitz. The Adam J. Hodge Memorial Scholarship to a senior who has perse persevered through hardship or limitation and has been accepted at a post-secondary institution strong citizenship, involvement in school life, and compassion, and caring for others. The recipient, Georgia Jones. The Peak Scholarship, named after Lawrence and Arlene Peaks, and the name bears of our fabulous auditorium, $1,000, awarded to a strong graduate to support education beyond high school. The recipient, Ijoma Obi. The ben, Dr. Ben Shapiro Honorary Scholarship to a student intending to pursue post-secondary education within or beyond Maine in studying the health sciences, $1,000 awarded to Abigail Karen. The Sally M. Schubert Memorial Essay presented to a senior deemed to have bitten, written the best essay on the meaning of life, $1,000 award to Mackenzie Gillis. The Megan Walker Memorial Scholarship, $1,300 to a student athlete whose achievement and performance reflects the memory of Megan Walker. The recipient, $1,300, Libby Cauley. The Bryce J. Pelkey Memorial Scholarship, $1,500, awarded to a senior who shows the quiet humor and spirit and kindness rem reminiscent of Bryce J. Pelkey and who plans to compete in college football or other athletics, the recipient, Bryce Henner. Three scholarships from Huston University, $2,000 each to support post-secondary education and the pursuit of a degree. The recipients, Allison Deering, Haley Lagros, and Kevin Fish. The Karen Averill and Shirley Averill McDonald Scholarship, $1,500 awarded to a female or male student pursuing post-secondary in a two or four year program, perseverance in academic studies, interest in extracurricular activities, community activities while demonstrating service in citizenship. The recipient, Hannah Dunn. The Frederick S. Newman and Family Scholarship, $1,500 awarded to an outstanding mathematics student, was also a participant in athletics. The recipient, Lydia Gilmore. The Clark J. Noonan Memorial Scholarship awarded through the BHS All Sports Boosters, given to an athlete who, quote, brings it both academically and athletically in a manner reminiscent of Clark J. Noonan. The recipient, Henry Westrich. Two Bangor High School scholarships, $1,500 each, the male and female student who demonstrate strong achievement and evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully assist and support their post-secondary learning. Recipient, Vinyan Ngo and Amy Ouellette. 
The Robert Susi Memorial Scholarship, $1,500 to a student pursuing a degree in business at a four-year college with evidence that the support will assist in the attainment of the degree. Recipient, Ellie McMillan. The Sanford and Joanne Miller Scholarships, two awards, $2,000 each to a male and female student planning to attend University of Maine or Huston University with the intention of majoring in education or business and with evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support the earning of the degree. Recipients, Sarah Keene and Jaden Gifford. The Lisa Miles Stryer Scholarship in Memory of Carol Toddy Stryer, awarded to a high achieving student in English or history and who intends to enter the field of public education. There are two awards, $2,500 each, the recipients, Sarah McNeil and Alexa Jarvis. The uh, Abrams, the Anna Abrams and Alfred Abrams Memorial Scholarship, $3,000, awarded to students continuing their education with evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support their earning of a degree. $3,000 to Emma Patterson Dennis. The Frederick Red Berry Scholarship, given by the Red Berry Foundation and awarded to a deserving Bangor High School senior athlete, best exemplifies the ideals of Red Berry, an outstanding teacher coach and athletic director, $3,000 to Rowan Andrews. The Jason Klein Stern Scholarship, $3,600 awarded to a Bangor High School grad intending to enroll in the University of Maine system, student of high character in scholarship as well as commitment, making a difference in the community. The award to Emily Chappelle. The Marshall Stern Memorial Scholarship, $1,500 awarded to a student planning to attend the University of Maine system, strong achievement, school involvement, and service to the school. Recipient, Rachel Miller Treat. The Tyson Perry Scholarship Award, $500 to a deserving senior who's committed to school and whose academic records show the promise of future success. Recipient, Haley Fournier. The Bangor Education Association Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a senior who shows commitment to education and a deep desire for learning and growth in a way that honors the wonder of teaching and learning. $1,000, the recipient, Sarah McNeil. The Sophomore Incentive Award. In the sophomore year, one student in the class, at, out of the interest and generosity of a local businessman, is chosen for the Sophomore, sophomore Incentive Award in $6,000. That money becomes available to that student as an incentive and on the day of graduation as a meaningful step toward pursuing post-secondary degree. Two years ago, May Sophomore Award, this student was announced as the recipient of the Sophomore Incentive Award and on the graduation day today, collects on that award support of future learning. $6,000 Sophomore Incentive Award, Jane Brown. Two JROTC scholarships to support continued learning of a cadet at Bangor High School to demonstrate a commitment to the core and academic accomplishment. $500 each to Bethany DeShane and Anna Burby. And the final scholarship award is the Mitchell Scholarship, $10,000 award. Awarded in each of Maine's 16 counties by Senator George J. Mitchell Institute. The Mitchell scholarships are highly competitive with over 1,600 applicants per year. The scholarship is based on future leadership, current academic and future academic achievement. And the amount is $10,000, but this is the very first snag in our graduation ceremony. I don't have the name. 
So we're going to feel warm, we're going to feel excited, and we're going to be super happy that somebody's got the Mitchell. But I will not be able to announce. But thank you very much. At this point, I am so excited because there was a period in my life where I occasionally watched NASCAR. And I have been really excited to announce it would be a great time to start your engines because we'll be moving in to the conferring of diplomas. So if I could get some help in the southern part of campus and on the inner circle row, we'll be beginning to line up this uh, remarkable class of students to confer their Bangor High School diplomas. Claire Cunyan Dickerson Thompson. <laughs> Melissa Poye Tian. <laughs> Madeline Ohola. Alec Owen Jensowitz. Eliza Ann Jensowitz. Emma Rose Patterson Dennis. Ijeoma G. Obi. Quinlan Sleeper. Michaela Wheelock. Brianna Lynn Adams. Megan Elizabeth Polk. How are you, Eddie? Benjamin Stevens Brook. William W. Ellison. Woo! Yeah, baby! 
Austin Gary Cook. Matthew Hogan. Noah McLean. Good, Noah. Lillian Novak. Austin Michael Robbins. Jeremiah Bourbon. Coots. Hallie S. Coots. Kelly Ann Pellegrino. Claire Julia Pellegrino. Cameron Coyle. Abigail E. Robertson. Carolyn Rose Butler. Danny. Ezra Hamer Nagel. Dennis A. Stewart. Brandon Lilly. Damien A. Sheffer. Jalen Ashmead. Emily Chappelle. Rebecca Chappelle. Sarah C. McNeil.
Libby May Colley. Jesse Emile Gifford. Jaden Isaiah Gifford. Emily E. Gray. Zachary Thomas Grant. Madison Elizabeth Burns. Cameron Hopkins. William R. Chubbuck. Lily A. Irabino. Anthony Maynard Henry. Caleb Braley. <laughs> Bethany Joel Duchesne. Anna Woodard. Raquel Altamir Simon. How'd I do? James Schaub. Zoe J. Barker. Quentin D. Groton. Braden Patrick Sheehan. Kevin Fish. Mark Defino the third.
Emily Egan. John Conrad Connors. Chloe Weeks. Jesse Carnes. Aislinn D. Tax. William Dunbar Lehan. Lauren Francis Thompson. Logan Thomas Hafford. Kylie Elise Lavoie. December Lee Marie Hustis. Abigail Patricia Karen. Haley A. Harriman. Zoe M. Harriman. Alexander J. Chris. Chris, Alex. Aiden Scripture. Evan T. Brackett. Charla and Marie Pinkham. Where's your mom, Charla? Charla. Charla, where's your mom? Okay, come right around now. Take a picture. Callie Bernard. Straight up to the curb. Thomas James Marcotte. Ben Reed. Camden E. Cole. Aiden James Shepherd, Brother. 
Brian, hustle them along. Allison Deering. Ryan J. Cunningham. Sophia Kanar. Where are we at? How much? God, we got this. Jonathan Ping Lee. Tony, we got it. Cambria D. Prophet. Portia Lee Dorr. Joshua Robert Watson. Hunter J. Hines. J. Daniel J. Riker. Sydney Latlip. Kelsey Elizabeth White. Haley Miles. Elizabeth McCann. Olivia Rogers. Back up a moment. Benjamin T. Gould. Kira Lee Legacy.
Brandon Haley. Mackenzie Jade Hodges. Alexa Shea Jarvis. Joshua Joseph Benasuti. Alexis Amanda Perez. Haley Lagros. Madison Clay. Amelia Marie Slocum. Emily Doyle. Abby Lynn Cataret. Ellie Marie McMillan. Chandler Reed. Zachary Anderson. Sarah Elizabeth Keene. It's like 89. It's like 89. <laughs> Scott, oh yeah. Simone X. Grossweiler. Alicia Steves. Alicia Steves. Carson Prouty.
Jacob and Dezormo. Kayla A. White. Good job, Jacob. Right there, buddy. Right there, buddy. Good job. Mackenzie Evelyn Lambert. One more picture. There you go. Take your time. Take your time. Chelsea Vo. Good job, Chelsea. Cameron James Dow. Donovan Parkinson. Amy Lorraine Willette. Matthew John Willette. Nicholas Karen Nathan Colbath Addison and Rickenback Wing Saya L. Moon. Colby D. Grimble. Allison R. Moores. Jasmine Johnson. Xander Cook. Kaylee Drew Perkins. Olivia Marie Slick. Brandon Tyler Kirk. Ethan Kirk.
Jorge Gomez Figueres. Georgia Donovan Jones. Morgan Albert. Madison G. Rice. Parker Noyes. Jerrica L. Spray. Christopher Susi. Bryce Joseph Henner. Bin Yan No. Abigail Thibodeau. Michael Gallant. Isn't that been? Mason Harmon. Evan B. Hunter. Which one's your car? Isaac C. Bushway. Logan B. Dow. Margaret Kozak Putnam. Henry D. Westrich. Taylor Elizabeth Helsley. Joshua P. Goslin.
Caitlin A. Goslin. Hunter Colpitz. Trisha Colpitz. Gage Spencer. Go, George. George Hamilton Smith. Take stage direction, George. Alexander Hayden Saros. Sequoia Ann Wachtler. Matthew D. Shell. Nathan Richardson. Morgan McGraw-Lowe. Caitlin M. Breyer. Bryant A. Marsh. Jane Brown. Jody Glidden. Josh Glidden. Ashton Tyler Perkins. Joshua Dorr. Hunter A. Smith. Elizabeth D. Rice.
Kylie Rhodes. Layden Ashlock. Landon Yu. Thomas Landon Yu. Tate Stewart Hartford Scoville. <laughs> Alyssa L. Hutchinson. Madison E. Arno. Justin Neal. Good job, Justin. Emma Rose Heath. David Spencer Brown. Alyssa Morgan Goodell. Mackenzie Allison Kate Gillis. Anthony M. Cassis. Allison Comstock. Camus Tapley. Kayla Marie Small. Samira Zogi. Jade Charles e. Walsh. Caitlin Ray Dor Sean Hyatt
Carver Myers. And is it on? Is it on? Uh, grandmother, Mississippi. Cam Doughty. Garrett Babbage. Good. Colby LeClaire. Amaya M. Hallowell. Marina E. Blanc. Shelby A. Larley. Right there, Shelby. Kayla M. Hamill. Grace Hamill. Jordan Marie Miller. Austin E. Conway. Mackenzie Harvey. Oh, yeah. Hannah Zoe Dunn. Rowan O'Halloran Andrews. Olivia M. Herschel. Isabel R. Parkin. Oh. 
Hunter D. Link. Justin M. Robertson. Miles C. Tuttle. Rebecca E. Seifert. Nora Hicks Payne. Maximus Douglas Phillips. Aiden McDonough. Brendan N. Hildebrand. Ashton Martin. Dylan Michael Houghton. Talia Wounded. Jordan Antonino. Victoria R. Boyd. Abigail Ann Varney. Jonathan Buzzy Buzzwell Young. Hannah E. Jacobs.
Brady Wilson. Jeffrey A. Burns the second. Amara Chuko Ifej. Samuel B. Oliver. Owen A. Fogel. Charity Hummel. Corey Clark. Alexandra Rosamund Creaser. Connor Ashfield. Aaliyah. Tristan Aliyah. Hannah Elizabeth Burby. Madison M. Hewitt. <laughs> Evan M. Braslett. All the green. Bryce M. Jordan. Ethan J. Grover. Zachary Burpee. Jenna E. Kraus. Timothy McCann. Andy Joe McCann.
Morgan Carter, Olivia Moulton. Deirdre Dysadu. Oh, Deirdre. Cassandra Joyce Lacasse. Nevaeh Ray Grady. Miranda Doyle. Rachel E. Miller Treat. Anthony Shooter. Hunter Edward Giroux. Jonathan A. Bailey. Cameron McClure. Taya N. Gay. Brina L. Campbell Black. Haley Ann Fournier. Cade Nealon. Curtis Boudelier. Aiden J. Cormier. Samuel A. Martin. Good job, Sam. Congratulations. Ibrahim O. Conte. Donovan Donovan J. Hillborn
Kennedy Bradley. Lila Davids. Gracie Lynn McAuliffe. Mark Kasperzak. Lydia Lehman Gilmore. Jacob A. Monroe. Andrew. Andrew C. Dorr, Jr. Quinn A. Richards. Max Andrew Miller. Sierra Holman. Brendan Hammond. We have two graduates watching from afar in another state. Veronica Otis. And Jaden Maynard. As soon as we can see that last car exit campus, I'll invite the President of the class, Claire Thompson, back to the podium for the symbolic turning of the tassel. That brings a close to the graduation ceremony for the resilient class of 2020. Thank you, friends, family, and everybody associated with Bangor High School for a workaround ceremony that felt like the real thing. Congratulations to graduates and have a great summer, everyone. Thank you.